let's begin with the most important change. The power runes begin spawning only at minute 4. With all 3 spirits being man intensive heroes, no longer having an option for a 2 minute battle with an instant rune refill can feel like quite a nerf. So what now? Every mid hero is streamlined in its playstyle and continuously shipping out stats in the region is the new standard. With the removal of Travel's TP scroll interaction, battle may not even be necessary anymore, as your only refilling option becomes a rune gamble every 2 or 5 minutes. Storm and Ember, who will be visiting the base frequently, will still benefit from the eventual battle pickup, however, Void does not necessarily need battle and can get by just fine with an occasional clarity. Speaking of travels, as it no longer has a TP to base to refill component, it is pretty much useless on all three spirits, as you have fairly good mobility on your own and don't feel the need to boost it with expensive footwear. For Storm, threads are now the 100% superior choice, and Ember with Void can build both face and threads respectively. Next up, Crystallis. We all knew it was coming. It now offers less passive damage and instead crits more, making it more valuable on heroes who continuously hit their targets and not so good for on-hit effects such as Ember's W and Void's ult. It still maintains a somewhat decent value for money, but for Ember, Maelstrom does the job just fine, and Void has a new item to rush now. Let's talk about it. Void's Agonyms. In theory, once you obtain it, you can permanently disable someone for up to 6 seconds. The sooner you get it, the less items will the opposing heroes have to circumvent this. As such, rushing the item is crucial. Considering early to mid game Void Spirit deals most of his damage through spells, you can even maintain Brown Boots until the completion of the Agonyms. In this match, despite having an unfavorable lane, I grab the Axe at minute 15. Having Mindbreaker as the neutral item lets you disable and or silence someone for up to 8 seconds, making pickoffs a breeze. However, be cautious. If your axe is delayed for some reason, or the enemy has a lot of natural saves and tankiness, seek out alternatives, as Void Spirit with just axe does not have any damage or regen outside of spells. Coming out of bad lanes, getting threats and rushing Orchid or Yules is a viable choice too, as the stats will help you maintain your pace in the jungle to recover. And that concludes today's topic. I will leave you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. What are you giving? So there's that. You are a sacred duck. I can't bear to be seen. Killing spree. The entirety of your existence was but a single one. Radiance Middle Tower is being attacked. A dominating performance. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom tower is under siege. Radiant's bottom tower is being attacked. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under siege. Bottom tower is being attacked. Wait, I guess.
being attacked. Bottom is missing. Gold and sweet. Your anger is useless here. Radiant Peter Tower is under attack. You might want to look into that. Radiant has fortified its structures. Gold and sweet. Yeah. <laughs> 